I know you're not really supposed to say this out loud, but credit card fraudsters are incredibly clever and they will go to extraordinary lengths to steal people's money. So first, someone will set up a fake website or send a fake email or a message trying to trick people into giving away their card details. And then they'll often do a transaction so small, you won't even notice it, just to check if the numbers you gave them are real. And once they have got thousands of stolen cards, they will bundle them together, obscure the full card numbers and sell them to other criminals on the dark web. Uh, and by the way, on the dark web, those criminals are all leaving each other star ratings just so that they know that they're buying and selling stolen card details details from people they can trust. Real honour amongst thieves, huh? If you're the bank though, you don't want to wait until someone starts buying flights and clothes and gadgets with these stolen card details. What you want to do is work out exactly which cards are being listed on the dark web and then cancel them before they're ever even used, even though you've only got four digits to go on. But now, MasterCard has worked out an ingenious trick using generative AI to do just that. They take all of the MasterCards with potentially suspicious activity on them, and they take all of those adverts for cards that they spot on the dark web. Now, trying to match those up, that's a bit like building flat pack furniture without the instructions while blindfolded. Mm -hmm. But it just so happens that auto-completing those digits is precisely the kind of problem that generative AI can solve. And in doing so, MasterCard have managed to double the detection rate of compromised cards, which means no shopping spree for fraudsters. So yeah, okay, the fraudsters might be clever, but the people fighting cybercrime, they're pretty damn clever too.